a beef. Beef? Beef. I got a beef. I got a beef. Richard, that's what this show is about, my brother. Um, And it's a weird beef because uh, it, the beef is that everything old is new. And it's so exciting being in the hobby long enough to not only realize what's going on, but to try to disconnect yourself from it. Uh, you know, watching people discover that water changes are a great way to take care of your system um, is, you know, we want to go, yeah, fuck you. How did you not know this? But at the same time, it's like, cool, I'm glad you're discovering this. Yes. You know, I, you know, I'm, I'm glad you're discovering that, you know, um, uh, testing should be about trends rather than specifics because you can't, I'm glad you've discovered for yourself that trust test kits cannot be trusted. Yeah. Um, you know, all of that kind of stuff i'm i'm kind of excited about it's 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 but it's funny to watch it rather than to be mad that but we all know this it's like no people no, got to no. it themselves see maybe i have it stuck in my head like i really am in touch with how brutal this hobby is as far as it it's retaining people for the long run yeah just because i'm where i see all that interchange happen and it's like man I, it'd be nice to see some metrics on it, but I don't know how you'd capture the metrics. But so many people get into the hobby. So many people get out. A tiny handful become reef tank hobbyists and, and reach these upper levels. And and so to me, that makes total sense why the old becomes new, because it's like it's like a lawn that's getting mowed constantly. It's not it's not one of these hobbies that's you know, relatively cheap or, you know, relatively not too hard once you understand a set of things and get into it. It's, I've been doing this almost 30 years and it's still freaking complicated and I make stake mistakes on the daily. It's an unforgiving hobby. And uh, so I do totally see how the old becomes new just because there's constantly new faces. Yeah. And I think it's maybe even a little harder nowadays. You know, books aren't really a thing. Articles yeah. really aren't a thing learning complicated things skills and ideas from videos is not the easiest thing in the world um you know details get left out your brain skips it, it it's not the same way as going back and reading a chapter or an article twice and highlighting what you thought was important um so it's a little it, i think it's a, and you know clubs are less um around than they used to be um you know shows have gotten a little weird lately you know, there's fewer there's, you know, Magna's dead now and uh, we haven't had one in a couple of years. So that kind of meeting of the minds hasn't happened. You know, it makes it become you, a lot of people might buck at this, but it makes it reef keeping sort of become like arcane knowledge. Yeah. And, and at the same time, that's and it is. And then when people discover it, <laughs> it's like, yeah, here's an article about that from 2009. You know, well, because we're uh, the ones that that can't leave. We're we're, right. we're stuck in this elevator. <laughs> well, you know, is that stand on the? It's so much easier to stand on the shoulders of giants if you know where the giants put their shoulders to stand on. And they have, might be giants. Yeah. Oh, they might be. And if they <laughs> if they haven't even if you haven't even looked for those shoulders because you're just on you know reef to reef, and that's where you're hoping to get everything you need. You you. You know, everything looks like a discovery, which is cool. Everything should feel like a discovery to you. That's part of the joy of the hobby, right? Is you feel like you've learned something. Um, and at some point you go, oh, wait, did somebody do this before? And what is, oh my God, they did. Oh, and they did it. Oh, and you know, I've got, they they point out a problem with my comp dosing system that I thought was genius, but here they say, that you're asking for, pro I'll fix that now. I've just saved myself something. So it's all the evolution of it. I, I just find it funny that uh, being in it long enough that it's like, yeah, it's all it's all new again because it's being rediscovered. So it's, it's a quasi beef. You got to be patient. Be patient. We have another beef. You and I have the same beef. Ooh. Oh, I know what it is. Do you remember? You Let's see. No, it's the Aptasia on the frag, but you have, I don't have it set up yeah, to where somebody, I can read the exact thing. Somebody somewhere got a bunch of frags and one of the frags on a, on it looked like a, I thought it was a candy cane, a Calostra, um, had an Aptasia on it. So they threw it away, the frag. And it kind of, it's kind of like, 
I, and I, I understand why. Well, let me hear you. I've been babbling about the other I, thing. I want to hear what I, you have to say for it. I know. think that that is obviously someone new ish to the hobby. And, and what I find from those people when they start learning about the pests that can be, they get an inordinate fear about those pests because they maybe don't have the experience to have crushed those pests many times over. So they're like, Aptasia on my frag, burn the whole house down. You know, and people like you and me are just like, okay, we'll try to identify that in the beginning. And then even when it crops up, hit it right away, F Aptasia, whatever, like deal with it. it to me, it feels like, Hey, we went we went to the puppy store and I bought a puppy. We brought it back and he had fucking fleas, so I threw it in the trash. Right. <laughs> and right. the kids are crying. I'm like, "No, he had fleas straight to the trash." But I can see it from both sides because my first position is like uh it's like, "Dude, don't and don't throw away a damn coral because you found an aptasia on it. Handle it, okay? And it's if if you're going to throw away every frag that you find an aptasia on, you're going to have a bad time at this party because it's just going to happen. There has to be some self-advocacy for what you're buying. You you no one's getting perfect frags. I wouldn't even get mad if I ordered from WWC or TSA like a frag and I had a aptasia on it. What kind of company is this what kind of shit show are they running here dude it happens <laughs> now the other side of it i would say too i hope coral vendors are really i know time is money and all this stuff but i don't feel you should have a coral trough that you know has got aptasia all through it and you're just throwing out frags left and right handle your problem if you have some problems like that look well, over things thoroughly i saw a picture of this frag and it was a frag and the Aptasia was kind of like between the frag and the plug, yeah. right? And it's like, oh, just circle it in super glue and you won't have a problem. Or, you know, sequester it and kill the fucking Aptasia. Um, but I also get it because, you know, the forms where most people are getting their info and the videos where most people are getting their info are like, you know, stop the infection before it happens. And, and most people, you know, take our our friend Jason Langer's advice, which is not control management. You know, it, it, trying to control pests, you, I don't know how you can do it. You have to have a completely sterile system and spend so much time quarantining and checking and, you know, sub-quarantining and checking and treating and checking. And, and then, you know, most people who do that end up with a problem anyway, because as we've said before, quarantining is probably the hardest thing a reef keeper can do they do. are asking new people to do it they so, do and no matter what something slips through and then you look at all the blood sweat and tears you just did and i mean the answer is to not to not do anything but it's like don't turn this hobby into a nightmare you know there's yeah. got to be a middle ground yeah so i think i think this person got some grief about it and they were a new reefer and we're like i didn't know and it was exactly like, it's like everything everything i read pointed me to like this is you know this is like not fleas on a dog it's like the bubonic plague on this dog and it's it's just kind of isn't well um, and the thing i hate is on forums too they're like you know then there's going to be like a dozen people oh my god aptasia on a frag oh where'd you get that from oh i got it from abc right. corals they're like oh fuck abc corals. it's like dude you know if you're on that side of the counter it's like it happens like i'm sorry and it's another thing, like if you'd have known if I owned ABC Corals and I sent something out to you, it had Aptasia on it. Like it's just the thing when you have a complaint at a restaurant, let someone know they want to know. Did 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 it not go right? Like I as the business owner, I want a chance to say, Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I might do something about it. But right. it's just like you can't you can't order frags from all the best and mid grade and worst places and and like, it's not like the best places will not have Aptasia on them. But if you order from the, the, the it's everywhere. It's like ick. It's like velvet. There is self-advocacy. When you get an animal, a coral, a fish, there's got to be some, it's not all under the responsibility who sent you the item. Now, within reason, someone shouldn't be sending you trash, you right. know, but right. ex expect some stuff and know <laughs> about them and know what to do and do it. And it's also like, this hobby is not set and forget. 
Oh no. You know, we, we have, I think people have this idea that it is, or that it can be gotten to. There's like, there's these myths out there about, you know, I've not done anything to my tank for a hundred years and everything's great. And until and, it isn't. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, it's kind of true, but it's kind of not true. It means that like, if you haven't done anything to your tank for three years, now you're going to have to do a lot to your <laughs> tank. Right. Because just from growth. Right. Yeah. Um, But, a, you know, a little bit more often, you know, and I'm super lazy, famously lazy. Um, And then, you know, then I spend five hours doing something, you know, on the system because that's what it takes. But I'd, I'd rather muck with little things than I'd rather manage than try to eradicate because you just can't. Eradication is hard, 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 hard. So, yeah, as our friend Jason says, management, not control. Mm. And then you'll have a nicer time. You're always going to have to do stuff, right? You know, if you're. Yeah, and if, if you if you if your move when something crops up is to burn it or rip clean or throw it away. That that's that goes the same thing in my opinion with rip clean. It's like, and I have a client who you know we had gone through this, did A B tests and had all these things, and man, I'd been battling them the whole time. He's like, oh, we should just tear it down. Oh, should we just tear it down? Oh, we should just tear. Look, I'm here to collect any whatever money you want to throw at me, but if we tear the tank down every time something happens, no, you manage through it. Yeah, but we could just tear it down. And it would go quick. Then we're gonna have a whole host of other problems. How about you just go do what you do for a living, write me checks, and I'll tell you what's going on. Because, yeah, you don't rip your tank down every time something happens. You'll right. never get anywhere. Now, there is a time for doing that, right? There, you know, that does. there are times when it makes sense. But one Aptasia is not it. You know, a little bit of algae is not it. Well, this guy had thousands of Aptasias. But, again, we just got done powering through it. And you're not going to like the solution. Which solution? There, I was waiting for you to say that. Is uh, we ordered? You're gonna throw something at me. I'm glad you're on the other side of the country. <laughs> we so we did Bergia, and the Bergia oh. moved too slow. Yes, it moved way too slow. Duh. We come I, on. I I gave to him wholesale prices, and we put two. It's a 200 gallon aquarium. Don't throw it. We ordered 200 peppermint shrimp. Yeah, I don't like that either, but okay. Guess what happened? I'm See? talking about the, the, there could have been 10,000. There could have been 50,000 Aptasia. It was one of those explosions where they were growing in the sand and on the glass and yeah, bit minuscule ones. And How big was um, the system? 200 gallons. And it the, was the he, he advocated for the 200 because I told him like, dude, 50, let's go crazy. And he said, what about 150? What about 200? He's like, how many can you get? And I searched around. I was like, well, one guy has 200. So I was like, let's get all of them. And I was like, man, I don't know. And he's like, please, let's just do this. And guess what? There's no Aptasia, though, but still. Yeah. Can you catch out some of the shrimp and move them Wait, He's He's going to make a little ad in his local Facebook group. We're going to catch him out. And yeah. well, he okay. told me he wanted to keep some. And I said, no, because they're going to start messing with corals. I'm OK with that if you do it responsibly, you know. Yeah. You know. And I'm also okay with, you know, throwing a coral away. You know, if I find a coral that, you know, it's a frag the size of my thumb and it's just covered with uh, acroweeding flatworms or something, I can see tossing that. Right? But look, okay. But that's different than an Aptasia. But like with the Colostrea, if by chance the person who did that is actually watching this, cut the Colostrea off of the flag, frag plug, by bypass the Aptasia, Hey, throw the frag plug away. Yeah. There's no reason to throw the Colostrea yeah. away. Um, Colostrea. Colostrea, I think. I've got to say something about uh, Bergia. Man, do it. Uh, and I've said it a million times, but I'll say it again. I think it's a bad choice. I They're think slow. it's not what people want. You know, if and I think if you've got any animals that are going to eat the Bergia, okay. which is a lot, you're just making your problem worse. You know, you're it's, expecting it's, an outcome that's never going to get and, there. And, and then you wait two months and now you've got 10 times the amount of Aptasia because you've been waiting for this thing that your Melanaris ras ate after yep. you put it in anyway. And now you've got, now you have to do something more drastic because you waited. But that's the same with algae. That's this, you know, we've talked about this a lot. You know, if, if you, if you hit it while it's small, you can deal with it. If you keep, 
pretending like changing your water parameters is going to have an effect on your algae, you're just going to end up with a nasty thing full of algae because you've waited and not done the other easier things.